what? Is that breakfast I can smell? No, I think it's my hairspray. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought we'd sort of started making perfume porridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, uh, what about breakfast, eh? Oh, thanks, darling. I'll just have a piece of toast and you could get me no, a I didn't. I, no, I didn't mean what about it so much as, uh, uh, where is it? If you recall, it's your turn to get it. Now that I've got a job, you said we'd share the chores. What chores? Mine's a boiled egg and a piece of toast. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I can just about manage that. There's nothing to doing an egg, Terry. Maybe nothing to you, dear, but it's a whole day's work for a chicken. <laughs> It was your turn to get the tea this morning. What happened? Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? I lost the recipe. <laughs> well, the eggs are over here and the bread's next to the toaster and I'd like it soft-boiled, please. Right. Two slices of soft-boiled toast coming up. Oh, <laughs> and you'd better put this on. You know, you do have a tendency to drop everything. You'll be lucky this time of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> now then, madam. Would, madam, for starter, would you like me to squeeze a fresh orange or possibly a tomato? Oh, no, thank you. And could you please hurry it up? I am late. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. One egg. Um, two slices of toast. Um, kettle. Um, push. Um, I see it's the original Galloping Gourmet. <laughs> Great. Knife, spoon for two. I'm all for you jogging, darling, but not during breakfast. Good cooks run in my family, but not that far. <laughs> Terry, what? can I ask you something? Oh, madam, if, it is, if it's about the wine list, I'm sorry the cellar is closed. No, seriously. You don't resent my going out to work, do you? Resent? Of course not. I'm all for it. Oh, women should be independent. No, I, I want you to be liberal, June. Don't you mean liberated? No, I mean liberal. I expect to get your pay packet on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> now, our madam, your wish is my command. Oh, good. Uh, bring me the morning paper. Don't get cocky. There's no need to overdo it. <laughs> I like this. I think wives should be waited on hand and foot. Yes, we hand everything to them on a plate and then foot the bill. <laughs> me to take this job, you know, and it's only to help out while Mrs. Bates is ill. Well, I thought you might be become a bit of a vegetable stuck here at home. Oh, I see. And you couldn't face living with the Brussels sprouts? No, I'm, what I mean Poor Terry, is... it tied to a turnip. <sighs> you know, you could have written your memoirs. How about I married a marrow? Listen, dear, all I meant was that this way you wouldn't be stuck at home. Well, as a matter of fact, it has been a very pleasant change to get out and talk to some interesting people. Oh, how nice. Thank you very, very much. At the risk of boring you to distraction, may I ask if you'd like coffee to follow? Yes, please. And all I meant was that now I'm in market research, I meet various people in their homes, and I ask them questions, and we have some very interesting discussions. You can have interesting discussions here any time you like. I mean, for a start, well, I mean, what are these questions you ask? Well, just simple ones like whether escalating market forces underpin rising economic expenditure and whether implementing this strategy stabilises the norm. Well, I think your toast is done. <laughs> All ready then, Terry? Ready when you are. Have a good day. And you. Don't work too hard. Nor you. See you this evening. Me too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, darling. Terry? Oh! <laughs> June, I don't want to be a spoil spot, but I haven't got time to play hide and seek. I wasn't hiding. I've just come in from work. Have you been waiting long? Ages, ages. It's not helping my stomach complain. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. What's wrong with your stomach? It's empty. 
<laughs> Wasn't it your turn to get the dinner then? No, I got it last night. I did toad in the hole. Oh, yes, I remember. It tasted rather as though you made it with real toad. It did not. It did not. I, it did, I, I simply scorched the hole slightly. Well, never mind. Your peach surprise worked. Did it? Yes, it was apricots. <laughs> no, no I, I expect you to have the dinner ready when I come home, because I've got to go out tonight again on business. Well, not again. Terry, you shouldn't keep working in the evenings. It's not right. And I did want you to do something for me. Do what? Get the dinner. <laughs> well, I've got to go out again to work in a minute. Well, I can't. I mean, I'm going out again in a minute. Well, forget the, forget the dinner. I'll splash out and buy myself a packet of crisps. <laughs> I am sorry, darling. It's just that a lot of the people I have to interview are out at work all day, so I have to be there when they come back. Mm, I must be the only bloke whose wife's out waiting for everybody else to get home. Yes. You see, I'm, uh, I'm meeting my supervisor, Ronnie. You know, Ronnie Fairclough. Oh, it's Ronnie now, is it? Yes, I've heard about him. They don't call him Randy Ronnie for nothing. <laughs> Terry Ronnie is very respectable. And he's great fun. <laughs> this will really make you laugh, you know. He told me he had an interview an elderly lady once. And the question was, do you have a flush toilet? And she said, no. It stands out from the wall. <laughs> Well, I'm going now. All right. Wait for me. <clears throat> this, um, this working for a living's all go, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry about the dinner, darling. Oh, don't worry. Just a question of your priorities, of, of who puts what first, and whether what should be put before who, and should who, that is, you know who, take second place to you know what. Well, I mean, should he? Who? What? Who? <laughs> you know who? I know who what? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Wait on, I'm coming. Now, you will get something to eat while you're out. Yes, I'll nip in a pub and grab a stuffed olive. Oh, good. And I'll probably get a sandwich somewhere when I've finished. Well, off we go to work, then. Mm, one good thing about your work, June. What's that? It's doing wonders for my waistline. <laughs> Ronnie, I thought we were just going to have a quick snack. Well, I appreciate the way you've helped us out, June. And this is one way of saying thank you. You know, if Mrs. Bates doesn't come back, we might make it permanent. The course starting next week. Perhaps you should go on it. Well, I, I'm really feeling rather guilty about all this. You know, poor old Terry's working late again tonight, and he hasn't had any dinner. Still, I expect he'll grab something hot while he's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. I haven't danced in years. Oh, I'd never have guessed. Oh. <laughs> you know, I thought we were just going to have cocktails and a snack. <laughs> well, I'm a very expansive person, and this is all on my expense account. <laughs> Do call me Terry. Uh, um, you were telling me, uh, Terry, hmm? uh, about the job you turned down. Oh, yes, they wanted me to be sales manager of a perfume company, but I said, no, I said, I don't want to go around sticking my business into other people's noses. <laughs> 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 I think I think you'll enjoy doing business with me, Miss... Uh, may I? May I call you Angela? Oh, yes, please do. Hmm. Perhaps we could discuss terms over dessert. A good idea. Oh, oh. oh, they seem to have taken the menu away. Uh, Excuse me, have you got a menu? Uh, oh, thank you, sir. Ah, <coughs> now. Ah, uh, sorry, this is the wine list. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> now, may I choose? Oh, of course. Yes, I, I make all the decisions in my house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but my wife is usually right behind me. Oh, <laughs> then. <laughs> I, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say she was a bad cook, but I oh. do try to eat out as much as possible. <laughs> I find, I find one gets much better service. <laughs> I, 
I, I, I have to do most of the cooking at home, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm quite an expert. <laughs> always, always, always in the kitchen. <laughs> really? A, a cordon bleu? No, we've had it done in primrose yellow. <laughs> Sorry, Ronnie. I can't stay. Well, what, what's the matter? I, why are you whispering? Hmm? It's my laryngitis. I must go home and take my pills. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Well, just a, a quick steak, then. No, I, I, I couldn't possibly swallow it. You have to forgive me. Excuse me. Shall we settle for a, a brace of cream caramel? Oh, why not? Ah, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Ah, you've gone. Probably decided they couldn't afford to eat here. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> now, you were going to show me a photograph of your wife. I told you I may know her. Oh, know. yes, of course. Uh, there she is. The old trouble and strife, scowling at the camera. <laughs> uh, have you, uh, have you met her? Oh, no, but I've certainly seen her before. Oh, have you where? Why, here. A few moments ago, she just left the next table. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh you, you, you must be mistaken. I mean, it, it couldn't be. Could it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're back, darling. Uh, good. E everything all right, dear? Yes, thank you. Good. <laughs> did you um? Did you manage to get something to eat uh, somewhere? You know, some <clears throat> small little restaurant you managed to uh, pop into, perhaps? No, I didn't get anything to eat. Oh, I thought perhaps I saw you earlier. No, I don't think you did. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Did you get something to eat? Yes, I had a quick nibble. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean I, fan I fancied a bit. I, I, uh, <laughs> so I, I, I grabbed a breast of, uh, <laughs> of, of chicken and, uh, and, uh, and had a bit on the side. Um, uh, a sa sa salad on the side. Mm. Good. Mm. And how did your business meeting go? Oh, it was a bit of a struggle, but I managed to pull them off. Uh, pull, pull them off. <laughs> Well, you know how it is, June, dancing attendance on people. I mean, this job is all work and no play. <laughs> this client of yours, what did he look like? Oh, uh, brown hair, double-breasted uh, breast. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 quite well, quite well built, actually. 38-inch chest? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. Which he, shows off, which he shows off to very good advantage in his black cocktail dress with a plunging neckline. That's him. That's him. He, he's, he's a woman. I mean, she... Uh, she you were there, weren't you? I overheard that the service there was so much better than anywhere else. <laughs> and now that you have to do all the cooking at home, mm. I like to eat out as much as possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I, I do that joke very well, don't I? Mm. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, I mean, she's a, a, a customer, an executive with an engineering firm. Oh. Mm. Is she the all work or the no play? No, there are a lot of women in business. I mean, people don't think anything of it unless they're old-fashioned and backward and don't understand. I may be a budding Brussels sprout, Terry, but I'm trying to understand. Now, do go on. Well, I mean, I was, I was uh, hoping to get an order, so I took it to the restaurant the same as I would any other potential customer. Must be the first time you've ever danced with a potential customer. What? I don't usually. They're all men. I mean, there's a difference between men and women. Really? Yeah, mm. one was only doing what one has to do to get one's, you know, what well, wasn't one. I mean, you know, it's a case of you play with my back and I'll scratch your well, back. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll play with your back, back scratch. It's all right, darling. I do understand. You were just dancing attendance on her. Well, yes, I suppose it was. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Um, what, what were you doing there? Yes, with Randy Furcloth, I presume. <laughs> Ronnie insisted on buying me dinner because of all I've done for him. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> well, he was keen on Mrs Bates, but he thinks I'm much better at it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, Terry, what I mean is he prefers me to Mrs. Bates. Uh -huh. And, mm -hmm. well... Yes, June, I'm trying to understand. Do go on. Well, I... We... Oh, Terry, now you're being ridiculous. Well, I mean, there are, June. I mean, it's just, just the same in my case. I mean, there are things in business which are necessary. Yes, I know. Ronnie wants me to go on a market research course with him. And there are some things which are not. Oh, you're not going with that Randy Furcloff. <laughs> I'm, I'm told he makes... He makes Casanova look impotent. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, this is 
is a waste of time. I think I'll go to bed. I've got to get up early in the morning because I have to do an interview with someone before they leave for work. Oh, do give them my regards. <laughs> I won't disturb you. And I'll leave your breakfast ready. Are you coming up? No, not yet. No, you, you carry on. So I'll see you tomorrow evening, then. I'm just going to have a nightcap. Going out early is part of my job, you know, and you did say you didn't mind. You look as if you're about to drown your sorrows. Oh, don't be silly. You, you go on. I'm, I'm not going to drown my sorrows. I'm going to try and teach them to swim. <laughs> now, uh, interview forms. Uh, what else do I need? Let's, uh... Morning. Oh, you're up early. Well, there's no need to look so disappointed. <laughs> well, I I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm just waiting for the iron to get hot so I can press your trousers and then I've got to leave. Mm. Now, where do I put those questionnaires? Any chance of a cup of tea? What? A cup of tea? Uh, yes, I've had one, thanks. <laughs> Good. Any breakfast? Uh, yeah, yes, I had some scrambled egg. Now, I'm going to need some ten peas. No, any for me. Why do you need ten peas? Oh, oh, forget it. Look, I, I wanted to wear these trousers today, but they keep opening up at the front. I think the zip's faulty. Well, I can't repair them now. Well, I mean, it's embarrassing. I mean, I, I, mean, I know I'm a salesman, but I, I don't want to show everybody a free sample. <laughs> Terry, what is more important, my job or those trousers? Well, if I didn't want to wear these today, I mean, it's your job. But as I no wish to expose myself to the public, these trousers. Well, I'll press the other ones for you in a minute and you can wear those. Yep, yeah, June, June, so, look, I'm, look, I'm sorry to be awkward. Would you mind standing still? This is not a running conversation. Terry, I'm in a hurry. What is it? Well, June, I know, I know the sensible husband who is one who thinks twice before saying nothing, but... Do come to the point, Terry. I haven't got time for a lecture. Well, one feels that one is neglected, that one is not appreciated. Surely. One is exaggerating, isn't one? <laughs> I mean, take this morning. One was not provided with any breakfast, and it was one's wife's turn to get it. I mean, two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? <laughs> what? Well, um, I mean, I've done my share since you've got your job. I even wash and iron my own apron. <laughs> Terry, if this is a demarcation dispute, we'll have a union meeting this evening, but I've got to go. Well, do, do you think it might be possible for one to have a cup of tea? All right. If one will sit down in one's chair, one's wife will pour one one personally. I'm sorry to put you to all this trouble, dearest. <laughs> oh, heavens, look at the time! Oh, I'm sorry, too! To work. I'll, I'll wear the I'll wear the ones with a broken zip. The fresh air will be soothing. I am sorry, darling. You could try a safety pin. In these or in those? <laughs> oh, look, June, about your job. I, I really think, haven't well... got time to chat now, Terry. My supervisor will be here any minute oh. to pick me up. Randy's picking you up, is he? I do wish you wouldn't call him that. His name is Ronnie. I just don't think of him that way. And what's more, there's the front door. That'll be Randy. Ah. <laughs> I mean, Ronnie, it was yeah. just a slip of the tongue. No, don't, don't explain. <laughs> I, I think that says it all. <laughs> yes, morning. Uh, June ready? Ready for what? <laughs> oh, good morning, Ronnie. Do come in. This is Terry. Her uh, husband? Ah, yes, of course. I say, you're looking very smart this morning, June. Oh, <laughs> thanks very much. It's uh, nothing special. She I spent over an hour in the bathroom I getting you ready. Uh, I know what women are like. Yes, I'll bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, he's always making funny remarks. Yes, I'm sure he is. Right, are you ready? Oh, yes, yes. I, I was up early this morning knowing that you'd be calling for me. Mm, as they do say, the early bird gets the worm. <laughs> See you tonight, then, darling. I am just taking June to her first call. Now, don't worry. She's in good hands. Yes, so I've heard. And you, <laughs> you tell him to keep his hands to himself. Put your trousers on. Your legs look underdone.
very licky doggy then. Oh, it's a pretty licky girl. Pretty little girl, aren't you? Such a pretty little I'm, um, I'm fine, fine. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way home from work. It's almost seven o'clock. Oh, I've just got one more interview to do. No, no, you're coming home now in the car. Well, I've only just got one. June, get in that car. You are going home as fast as possible. I'm sorry, I'm putting my foot down. You can't. It's a 30 mile an hour limit. <laughs> if you don't get in that car right away, you'll be the only Brussels sprout with a cauliflower ear. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not true, dear. I mean, I mean, for heaven's sake, I'm a great supporter of women's liberation, as long as it doesn't affect you. Well, that's a fine attitude to take. Mind you, I'm not surprised. You were madly in favour of Lady Traffic Wardens until one of them booked you. Well, June, I, I think, Julie, I think you've got yourself imprisoned in this whole idea of liberation. I'm sorry, Terry, that's a bit deep for me. Well, I have been thinking all day about both of us dashing around working all hours, and I think we have to ask the question, are we making too many demands on ourselves? And we must be firm and decisive with the answer. Which is? Possibly. <laughs> I mean, it's what one wants out of life, June. Is one on the right road, or has one reached the point where it is, turn again, Dick Whittington? Oh, I see. Good. You want to be Lord Mayor of London? No. <laughs> I'm serious, Judith. We've worked hard for years, both of us, bringing up a family, and now we're entitled to take things easy. I mean, let, let me put it this way. How old are you? You know how old I am. All right, let me put it another way. How old am I? Two years older than me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be constructive. I'm... We should be enjoying the best years of our lives. And we, we've earned the right to pamper ourselves. You should be pampering yourself and I should be pampering myself. I don't want to pamper myself. We'll, we'll pamper each other. You can pamper me and I'll pamper you. I don't want you to pamper me. I'll pamper you if I want to pamper you. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> and another thing, I don't want you out again trying to earn money by walking the streets. I say... Do you use this product, not aloe, sailor? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yes, I do, but I don't consider myself to be ready for the, the knacker's yard. Oh, don't be silly. You haven't got any... any... <laughs> you haven't got any right to say that. You, you know what I meant. Well, you sound as though you're getting ancient. No, not me. Oh, there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I may be no spring chicken, but I can still do my share of cock-a-doodle-dooing. <laughs> As, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to take life easier, even if it kills us. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I am getting a bit fed up with this job, working all hours, and my feet are killing me. Well, love, I mean, it, it's time, it's time you started to spoil yourself. How? Well, for a start, we could play gin rum and I'll, I'll let you win. <laughs> I think I'll go and do the ironing. No, no, I said spoil yourself, not the whole evening. Forget the ironing. Look, you, look, sit down, love, sit down. Come on, now, now put, your, put your feet up. Oh, Terry, Come I on, can't... put your feet up. <laughs> Re relax. Come on, relax. <laughs> Unwind, let yourself go. I'll relax here. <sighs> <sighs> now what? Now, relax. Is that a crack in the ceiling? <laughs> How long's that been there? This is giving me a pain in the neck. I think I'll go and get the supper. No, no, June, June. Listen, I've just remembered there's a, there's a film on television. Now, after we've eaten, we'll really pamper ourselves. We'll, we'll lie in bed, have a large scotch and watch the television film. Now, now that is what I call luxury. There's one snag, darling. What's that? The portable telly's on the blink. Uh, ah, ah, yes, but there is an aerial point upstairs. Oh, no, Terry, no way are we carrying that set upstairs. 
Very educational. Ah, 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 whiskey. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, oh, uh, Terry. Nuts. And the same to you. <laughs> no, me walnuts. <laughs> the favourite. Uh, <laughs> uh, really going to pamper myself. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah. Terry, do you have to do that? Yes, to put it in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, oh, film starting. Oh. Oh, they've got English subtitles. Yes, I can never read those. Oh, don't worry. I'll read them for you. <laughs> Typical French film. Two people in bed. One man and a woman. That's the man. Yes, I can see that. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going to join the French Navy tomorrow. You're what? <laughs> no, I'm, reading, I'm reading the subtitles. But as I gaze down at your gently heaving bosom. I want to rip all your clothes off and make mad, passionate love you, Jezebel, you. Not tonight, darling. I have a headache. No, I wish you would. I'm trying to read the blooming titles. I wish we could stay here Forever. We could have a lie-in in the morning. I think I'll ring Ronnie Fairclough and tell him I'm giving up that job. Look, do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate on... Give what? I've decided to give up the job. Oh, oh turn that thing off, darling. Oh, yeah. It's a rubbishy film, anyway. <laughs> hmm. Anything you want, darling? Anything you want? Like a cocoa? Bottle of champagne? No, just get back to bed. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, do you really think I'm making the right decision? I mean, you're the one who said I was vegetating at home. Well, you're the one who has to decide, love. I will say one thing, though. I've always loved Brussels sprouts. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. There's just one thing, though, darling. What's that? I think I'm lying on my nutcrackers. 